If you drink only seawater, you'd be dead in less than a week. But what if we could turn the ocean into a limitless source of safe drinking water forever? Hello viewers and welcome back. In one of our earlier videos, we spoke about Israel's success with desalination where advanced plants like Sorek and Ashkelon supply a major share of urban water needs. In fact, 86% of Israel's drinking water now comes through desalination. Today we shift focus to India. We'll explore the future of desalination here, a technology that could transform our vast uh, uh, oceans into a sustainable source of drinking water. We'll talk about the challenges, the breakthroughs, and what it really takes to make seawater safe to drink. If you find this useful, viewers, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more insights on engineering and water solutions. Thanks very much. Earth is the blue planet. Yet, 97% of its water is salty ocean water. Fresh water? Just 3%. And two-thirds of that is frozen in ice caps and glaciers. That leaves less than 1% of all the world's water for people, farms and industries. And demand is soaring. By 2030, we may face a 40% gap between what we need and what nature can give. In India, desalination is already making waves. Major projects are active or being planned across various coastal states. Mumbai in Maharashtra The BMC is pushing forward with two strategic seawater rivers osmosis plants. Versova and Manori, each with a capacity of 200 MLD. Kakinada in Andhra Pradesh a large-scale industrial desalination facility is in the works, a 3 by 50 MLD plant at Kona village near Kakinada, backed by 1310 crore rupees in investment. Gujarat is rapidly expanding its desalination footprint. In 2022, a 100 MLD desalination plant at The Hage was commissioned, currently supplying treated water to industries at around 26 rupees per kiloliter. A notable project is the 100 MLD plant at Jodia in Jamnagar district. Developed under a public-private partnership model, it will supply treated water to Rajkot, Jamnagar and Mobi for the next 25 years. Additional plants of various capacities are in the pipeline in Dwarka, Kutch, Bhavnagar and Gir Somnath, collectively adding 370 MLD projected capacity. Tamil Nadu, a pioneer in desalination technology in India. The state has two major plants near Chennai, the Minjur plant, 100 MLD, and the Nomali plant, 150 MLD. Together, these plants provide a critical share of Chennai's drinking water supply, especially during droughts and monsoon failures. But here's the challenge. The most common method, reverse osmosis, uses 3 to 4 kilowatt hours of electricity per cubic meter of water. That's like running your home for several hours for just 1000 liters. And for every liter of fresh water made, we get almost a liter of concentrated brine, which is globally 140 billion liters of brine produced every day. Without careful disposal, that can damage marine ecosystems. The future is about smarter desalination, ultra-thin membranes that cut energy use by 30%. Solar-powered plants that run clean. And new processes that turn brine into useful minerals instead of waste. Imagine entire coastal cities powered by renewables, producing endless fresh water from the sea, without harming the ocean. At Techbury, we work with innovators, engineers, and governments to turn that vision into sustainable water solutions. Because the future of water is in our hands, one drop at a time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel.